really, it wasn't, it wasn't like the appeal of anything that grabbed me. It was more like indignation over the fact that stuff is really wrong in the world. I had seen homelessness in all over LA. I mean, Santa Monica, you go there and, you know, it's just one of, you know, certain cities draw um, homeless populations and Berkeley's one of them. And, you know, when you're a freshman living in the dorms and you walk outside and there are people like sleeping out on the sidewalk next to where you live, it's kind of, it's kind of shocking. And especially, you know, like, the gourmet ghettos right near here and like the Claremont Hills and North Berkeley. I mean, there's just like such a contrast between, you know, the really, really wealthy and the really, really poor. And so that kind of, you know, made me uncomfortable. Like, you know, I didn't really understand it at first. And, um, and then I started hearing of like the suitcase clinic and started getting more involved. The mission statement of the suitcase clinic is more about ending homelessness and it's very ambitious, I realize, but then it's all about baby steps. The Suitcase Clinic is probably one of the only student groups, um, even just organizations out there that directly help and you know try to um, alleviate poverty, especially in the city of Berkeley. I mean, we run three clinics in the city of Berkeley, and I really feel like it was the only one that directly like addressed the situation. Um, and address like you know the needs of the people. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I it was so direct that it, I don't know. It was just kind of like, well, you know, you see a problem, like what can you do to help? And you see like existing structures, and but we also have acupuncture, um, uh, chiropractic, osteopathic, manipulative medicine. Um, you know, we have like a lot of different stuff, and it's not just it's not just like healthcare that we provide. And I mean. We're only students, so we can't really do much. But I'd say, like, we're a student-run organization. We're not doing so badly, and we try to improve. But we have, you know, other stuff like laundry services, um, discussion groups, um, haircutting, foot washing, health education. Um, you know, giving out like health supply, hygiene supplies, and just I mean, half the time it's just like sitting around talking with people the entire night. And you see lots of the same faces again, and you really like get to know some of these people and the faces behind like the weird term that is like homelessness. Mm -hmm. And you realize like people are people are people, and so I don't know. It's it's an interesting perspective, yeah. and it's made me extremely opinionated too. I have to admit. <laughs>